Yeah, folks, well, it's another September and another Moab trip. Things are a little different this year. My dad, unfortunately, isn't able to join us, which breaks my heart. Won't be the same without him. But, uh, you know, got to carry on. He'll be here next year. We uh, got ourselves great spots last year at this time. It was really packed here at Sand Flats uh, this year. Uh, practically a ghost town. Got ourselves some great spots <clears throat> up here by the cliffs. Uh, we had some setbacks today. I already had to go in the town to get my trailer welded. That's a story I'll spare you. And uh, some last minute went wrenching on the Jeeps. But we got uh, the Jeeps ready to go. Oh, here's another new development this year. My uh, sister and brother-in-law, they uh, got tired of the TJ life and they stepped up to the JL life. Woo! Rubicon, oh yeah. yeah. My, uh, they're only on 35, so eventually on 37s. My hope and prayer is they get high centered at least once this trip, but probably not. Anyways, we're gonna go hit fence and things like we always do and uh, have a great afternoon. Okay, all the prep, all the planning, the big long drive, all worth it. First trip of the first trail of the trip, fins and things. Always nice to kick it off. Pretty easy trail, but lots of fun ups and downs, and ah, it's just a great trail to get warmed up on. So here we go. Oh, and it's a beautiful day to boot. Check this out. Oh yeah. Beautiful day. Can, no, brothers. can you repeat that? <laughs> no, 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 the other part. What? The excitement. Oh, after welding trailers and working on Jeeps and long ass drives, we're finally hitting fins and things! Yeah, it's Woo! On. <laughs> That makes you feel a little better about myself. <laughs> I think you need the Moab. I think you need the Moab bump. You're climbing. You're climbing. Uh, turn passenger. Passenger. You got it. You got it. Nice. <laughs> oh, my TJ did that pretty easy too. Though. I know. <laughs> Woo. Piece of cake with that thing. <laughs> Not even scary, is it? No brakes. Oh, that's for you, Dad. No brakes. Felt it in the TJ. I think I shat myself. Oh, damn. Oh, I love fins and things. Having a ball. Had to stop for a second to watch the sunset because it's going to go below the horizon in just a wee moment. And we're just having a ball. All right, first uh, day in Moab.
All right, here we are, Moab day two. Now, I said this year is different. Something really different is an addition. My buddy Jared, who wants to be different, he didn't get a TJ, didn't get a JL. This is what he brings. Oh yeah, Tahoe 137. So, we're gonna have a lot of fun. This is his first time to Moab, so he's ready to go hit the trail. We're gonna see what he and his rig can do, and have some fun. Oh, so what's your technique? If you get hung up, what are you going to do? Drive fast, don't die. Drive fast, don't die. Throttle out when in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's do this. All right, that's uh, Jared's first hill at Moab. Off they go. All right, we're having fun testing out Jared's rig. He's doing great. One foot, so really hard on the brakes, ease it down. <laughs> and then keep coming. Your tire rears are about two feet away. Keep... That wasn't bolted in. <laughs> <laughs> One foot away, and then go hard brake because your tires are gonna start dropping now. Driver first is coming. You didn't even touch. You cleared it by like an inch. Keep coming straight down, a little passenger. Nice and easy on the brakes. <laughs> or you can just roll it. Nice and easy on the brakes. Or you can just roll it. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> well, that's the fastest I've ever seen anyone do that drop. <laughs> like pretty hard brakes. <laughs> so, uh, so a brake upgrade might be in your future. Yeah. Because yeah. we have some longer stuff like that you'll be doing. Yeah, that was like... <laughs> that was I'm going to take everything out of this. All right, we're still having a ball on fins and things. Jared's Tahoe is actually doing pretty well. Straight on up. Back up about five feet and give it a little more momentum to get you past that one little spot. A little more. Let's see what that was. That might have been axle shaft. Left oh. rear. Yeah, I think that might have. Yep, yeah, your left rear, something happened. <laughs> well, guys, we, we have a Moab first. Unfortunately, the short bus was doing really good, but on that, that climb there, got a little axle hop, and, and yep, that's what we got going on. Snap an axle shaft. So now we're gonna go in recovery mode, go back to camp, get a trailer, get this worked out. So Jared, hour and hour and two minutes into Moab, are you still enjoying it? It was the best non-sexual experience of my life. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, this is a Moab first for us. We've had a few issues here and there, a little trail wrenching, but this is the first time 
we've ever had to do a trail recovery. Now, I also want you guys to take note out there, all you YouTube guys, and you can flame me if you want, but I love that my Ford F-150 is towing this Chevy Tahoe. Right, what do you have to say about that? Take the F-150 up the hill real quick and then come back and we'll talk about well, it. Well, I got a locker. It probably would go right up. <laughs> Well, this isn't the video I thought we'd be um, taking today. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Poor Tahoe. <laughs> All right, so we're on Fins and Things take two. We have the, the Tahoe is resting in camp, taking a little nap, but uh, we decided to head back out and do a little more wheeling. So we're out here cruising, just you know, enjoying the Moab scenery. Driving off a cliff, you know. You know what's down there? Normal Moab stuff. Are you sure this is safe? <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly safe. You just want as long oh. as you go straight down. <laughs> Nice and steady, straight on up. You got it. <laughs> you needed just a little more momentum. Back up one foot. That's good. Now just a little more throttle. And then once you feel it bump up, steady. A little more, a little more. There you go, there you go, steady. You got it. Yeehaw. Happy Moab morning, everyone. We're uh, just getting up here. Beautiful morning. Uh, got the struggle bus here on the trailer. We'll have a little bit of breakfast, then we're gonna go pick up a, the axle shaft to, <laughs> to uh, fix our fun we had yesterday. But uh, let's go have some breakfast burritos. See what we got cooking over here. Good Moab morning. So what we got going on over here is breakfast burrito action. That's the way to go. We'll boom, boom. But Jared didn't get the memo about breakfast burritos, so. Oh, he told me. Let's see what we got here for. Wait, I was gonna make a breakfast scramble, <laughs> but I grabbed the wrong one at the store, so I'm having pad thai with chicken. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> says per like yeah, pad thai. Exactly. Chicken. You guys might be jealous and be trying to barter some breakfast burrito for some pad thai. <laughs> you know, stranger things have happened, like. You know, it's, it's not impossible. <laughs> All right, Jared, uh, his uh, breakfast is ready. And I, I, I'm doing air quotes breakfast because he's got his patai with chicken going here. All right, he, he's the new brand he's trying. He's gonna let us know how it goes. All right, what, what's your thoughts? That's not bad. Yeah, it's weird to for like eat for it real. Eight o'clock in the morning. That's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so uh, oh, wow. Patai breakfast is uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up. See how my breakfast burrito is doing here. Yeah. Okay, so you know, as much as I wish I had freeze dried uh, Patai with chicken for breakfast, my breakfast burrito looks like it turned out pretty dang good. Got to have your morning uh, Pepsi to jump start the day. It's gonna be a good day today after we fix the struggle bus. We'll go have some fun. Although it'll be fun too because it's not my rig, so. All right, well here we are underneath the struggle bus. We got Jared on primary mechanics duty since it's his bus and he's the one that broke it. I'm getting ready to drain the diff fluid and see if we can get the chunk of broken axle back out and 
get ourselves back on the road. No pressure, by the way. We're just all sitting here watching you. <laughs> and my YouTube, my YouTube channel is nationwide, so the whole world's going to be judging your skills here. All, all seven oh, you're followers. Getting critiqued all, seven, yeah, yeah. all seven followers. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're we're ready to pull out and show you guys the damage done. All right, Jared, let's see what we got going on here. Axle shaft. Ooh, nice fat shaft. What the hell? Oh yeah. Hey, if you're gonna break it, man, do it right. That is wow. Gnarly. That is gnarly, dude. So the JB weld just goes on there? Yeah, exactly. Big bead of JB weld, some silicone, and some oh, duct good. tape. We're, and back, we're good yeah. to go. Then it'll be almost as strong as a Jeep axle. <laughs> Here comes my cute sister driving my Jeep. I don't know why, but it's kind of fun watching. Oh, don't hit me! <laughs> Kind of fun watching someone drive your Jeep. It's like, oh, that Jeep's cool looking. <laughs> Any of you familiar with GM products? We got the 8.5 inch rear end with the uh, Gov locker in it. And getting the C clip out was a royal pain in the butt. Now we're uh, trying our luck at fishing out the broken chunk. Uh, like Jared said, it's like a carnival game here, fishing with a magnet. Dude, this magnet is garbage. <laughs> I mean, just like a one-pound magnet. <laughs> Shoot. So anyways, having fun of sorts. Not quite as fun as like doing wheelies up a uh, escalator, but you know, fun enough. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we, we, we did fish out the... Uh, the whack-a-mole was successful, the claw game, but instead of a unicorn stuffed animal, this is what he fished out. Look at that. Oh yeah, what a collection here. That little axle hop, this is what it did. So uh, well, the, the previous 400,000 miles of abuse from me over the last 20 years. No, because this axle you said you, know, you swapped. This well, isn't the same axle. This could be, this is out of a 97. It's so. a GM. It's a Chevy, guys. What do you expect? All you Chevy lovers out there, you can flame me in the comments. You can flame me in the comments. Oh, the fun is continuing. The shadow's smaller, so you can tell we've been here for a, a little while. <laughs> My my the deck of my trailer's got a nice coating of uh, pr protective uh, layers, but we got the dreaded pin back in lined up, C clips in, axle shafts in both sides. Now we just got to do some buttoning it up, fill it up, bolt it up, and do this again tomorrow. No. <laughs> so uh, this is the best part. Oh yeah. Oh, you work work your way out, dude. Oh, what grace. Well done. <laughs> but you know what? The job is done. Everything's buttoned up. We just gotta clean up. Well, it's almost like five o'clock, kind of late in the day. We decided instead of trying to sneak in a trail, we're going to, uh, we're all kind of sweaty and grimy and gross. We're gonna head over to the KOA and uh, uh, take a shower. That, that's almost as good as wheeling. So we'll catch you guys on the flip side. We'll do some wheeling tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a great day in store. We're gonna break Jared's other axle shaft on top of the world. It's gonna be bitching. So see you tomorrow. All right, the big boys got out their little toys. <laughs> Dude, I want one like that. <laughs> and then there's Jared's. <laughs> it's just laying dirty. Dead. Well, another beautiful evening here in Moab, and after dinner, we are treated to this incredible double rainbow. Just cool stuff. So that tells me it's gonna be a great day tomorrow. Look at that sunset. Sunset, <laughs> rainbow. All right, it's Sunday.
fun starts. There you go. Nice. Might rub a little bit. Or a lot. <laughs> oh, actually, I think you got it just fine. Yeah. Nice. You got this, no problem. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Freaking dude. Nice. Damn Rubicons make, it, make the trail so easy. <laughs> We'll start cutting over. H harder driver. That's Max driver. Right That's Max driver. Little, little, little bus action. Little the beep, there beep, beep. There you go. Perfect. so I think she's good we're just tractoring along we'll see. We'll see. letting the Jeep do its Jeepy thing <laughs>
right way. Oh, 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 oh my gosh okay here we are oh yeah here we are oh yeah wow Rob's up there scaring the hell out of me yep this truly is top of the world yeah baby all right to me one of the craziest things about top of the world is this giant slab that's detached from the cliff, but it hasn't fallen. So check this out. Here's the crack. And it goes all the way off that way. So this whole big section out here is detached. Let's step across this. Oh, and you can see daylight when you look down there. Anyways, crazy stuff. You can see some of those rocks kind of overhang, so when you've come up here, don't stand on the very edge. All right, well, we had a great time at the top of the world. The view is just breathtaking. Had a nice little lunch and uh, are heading on down and then we're gonna head over to Rose Garden Hill. The adventure continues. Okay, as easy as you can. Nice turn strike driver. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. nice. Oh. You're good, you're good. Keep driving out of it. You got it, you got it. Okay, you guys scared me. <laughs> Scale of one to ten, how big is your turd? Dude, holy crap. <laughs> right rear had to be coming off the ground. Oh yeah, it was about two feet off the ground, dude. You were you were tripoding, man. Again, you're gonna come down and turn passenger and try to hug as far right as you can. I got that one. A little more driver. More driver. There you go. Ride it out towards the Jeep. You don't want, you want to stay as far right as possible because it drops right off that knob. Oh, right here. Be prepared to turn driver if it starts to go. Well, you got wheel in the air. Wheel in the air. Big pin thing. Song that's on right now is Rocket Man. <laughs> Rocket Man. <laughs> The struggle bus shuffle, that's what we call that. It's I don't know, dude. There's still a little bit of struggle. Whoa, you're good, you're good. Bring it out. Wheeling right there. Yeah. He's got his tires nice and marshmallowy. Oh, ye of little faith. Nice. Okay, both rear tires are coming up. And there you are, you're at the cliff. You little bump. Oh, look at that, it just crawls it. Nice. You need a bigger tires. Yeah. Get 
Oh, he's all totally crossed up. Oh, yeah, you are. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Time it. Oh, you're three wheeling again. Hee haw! Right Straight off that, just like that, Jared. That right rear is off the ground. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. It's about six I'm inches off the ground. So you're good, just keep going straight off of that. You got about two feet before your passenger drops. Keep coming, keep coming. Okay, both the same time. There you go. You're good. Week two of ownership and uh, out here getting her done. It's the best way to break them in. Yeah, the, well you gotta... Just show them right up front with their... Right, you the establish dominance, life. right. Establish dominance. <laughs> if you were a monkey, you'd be flinging feces at it. <laughs> I own you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trail honk. A little toot toot. Man, that sure makes it look easy. It sure did. You were all like... Ah, oh, I forget your turning radius sucks. Okay. Be careful backing up. You got a tree about four feet behind you. Nice. Oh, it's a little sandy. There you go. Oh, uh, he's three wheeling. I think we might get to use your winch. All right, well, we finally get to use the winch. Uh, the struggle bus uh, got a little crossed up here and Rather than try to hammer on it and brick another axle shaft, we're gonna play with the winch, because otherwise, why buy them, right? So we're being safe and being nice to the tree, using the recovery strap, getting it rigged up here. Now, this will be the first use of the winch, correct? Yeah. Nice, there we go. Just like that, wind saves the day. most people run because we are going to go down Rose Garden Hill instead of uh, up it. We went up it last year and uh, it's tough. I mean, made it, but boy, it's tough. But this year, just to make a loop out of our drive to the top of the world, we thought we'd circle on around and come on down it. It'll be fun. Okay, come a little driver just a little bit. Driver, driver, you want to go to driver to the you know, try that side. Shit, you're like a pro, man. Oh. Spoke too soon, you cursed him. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeehaw! Nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah. But you're gonna drop your driver. Yeah, you're 
Straighten out, you're golden. Tippy, man. It was a little bit. Woo! <laughs> Dude, you guys are legit spotters, man. <laughs> Holy crap. They'd have search and rescue out here getting me if I was by myself. <laughs> the shadows are getting longer and we're still just working our way down Rose Garden Hill Trail. And I think we're uh, only a few minutes away from the hill itself. The big uh, enchilada. Here we go. This is our initial descent on Rose Garden Hill. Rob's the first one to come down. We decided to go down this this year because it was very challenging to get up it. So here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, Rose Garden Hill. Now, the camera just doesn't do it justice, but enjoy the show anyways. Okay. Easy, as easy as you can. Slow, slow, slow. Passenger a little bit. He actually got stuck going downhill. <laughs> oh, hold on. We have, we got, can we, can we stick a rock under there? Dude, you got stuck going downhill. That's definitely struggle bus. I'm sorry, but the name. Okay. Try that. Yeah, try that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now drive. Now straighten out. Straighten out. Straighten out, driver, if you can. No, 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 no. That's working. Okay. Driver, as hard as you can. Okay, hold on, really slow, because your rear is gonna drop. Really slow. Good, from the driver. Obviously you're gonna bang and come down, so you hit your train, you're hit. You're good, just keep it driving. Okay. Chevy tough. A little, okay, a little more passenger. Okay, hold that. Keep coming straight. Keep You're good. Straight. You're good. You're about to level out. Okay. Hold on for a second here. Okay, come on. A little driver. Okay, you're good. Oh, 
Tell me honestly, how do you feel? That was insane. <laughs> that, that was like now looking at it from down here, it's, there's no freaking way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I documented it so you can prove to the world. You had a nice tripod going coming down here. Slight passenger, slow, 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 slow. and your passenger is dropping. And Turn passenger. Okay. All right. Nice and slow. Dropping, dropping. Dropping. Your bumper's coming down. You're good. You're solid on the right side. Okay. What about the next part? You're gonna hit. Hard passenger if you can. That thing is a Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. I told you I'd show you a good That's time. A real four wheel. <laughs> this ain't no gravel back road. <laughs> well, we all made it down Rose Garden Hills safely. Uh, some bumping and grinding, but uh, lots of fun. Days uh, winding down here, so we're gonna try to book it a little bit so we can get down Onion Creek Road and still see some of the beauty. And uh, we'll be making dinner in the dark tonight. That's all right. We had quite an adventure today. Lots of fun. Woohoo! What a beautiful evening. So gorgeous out here. Look at this. This is taking the wheel of the new Jeep. Your shirt almost matches the Rubicon lettering. Okay. <laughs>
start turning driver, dude. squared up a little more I think but um, okay. I'd give it a go it's gonna get okay, pretty... just slow on the throttle <laughs> Didn't die. <laughs> yep, you're right on it. Straight ahead. No problem. No problems at all. You're right. Nice. It's like, it just, it's <laughs> like a driveway. <laughs> oh, look at that articulation. <laughs> Now, when you're doing seven mile rim trail, you have to do your lunch stop at the arch here. <laughs> Pull up to the right of me. <laughs> well, we had a great little lunch down at the Uranium Arch. And now we're uh, continuing on our little tour of Seven Mile Rim. And more fun to be had in a minute here. There you go. 
Just need a little Moab bump. Like a glove. Once the Tahoe, once the Tahoe makes you through, it's like hell. Yeah, he needs to be coming up towards you. Go, 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 go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Just keep on it, steady throttle. <laughs> nice, dude, nice. Jared, how was it? That was so scary. So scary. Like, ridiculous. You did good. I held my breath the whole time. <laughs> yeah, me, I think I was holding mine too. Yeah, I think we all did. I was like, I'll breathe out all the air, that'll take some weight out of me. <laughs>
ramp instead of in that hole. Gotcha. You guys don't think I can do this? Uh, All right, I'll spot you. You, you straddling it right now, you're perfect. You look good. You got your lockers on, right? No. Come this way. I'm trying to save them. <laughs> you suck. Man, those, that made it look so easy, those, those dink. Lockers? That dink, he's pulling your leg, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that wheelbase really does help, though. You're just, you're just crawling up there. Wow. We doing here? <laughs> I don't even take a map. Oh, I can totally sleep like this. You guys it's not are a helicopter nuts. flight. They think it's like a Jonestown. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like I murdered all three of you. <laughs> maybe I'm the Moab murderer. Dude, maybe.
I'm going. You don't need a spotter, right? Oh. Spotters are for sissies. passenger there you go you're good now straighten out have to take a side trip and check out the arch when we're up here. Too too much sand in the bottom. I've been up this before. But it's so dug out now. Yeah, it's really deep.
There you go. No problem. Easy stuff. <laughs> nice. Good morning. We're on our way to uh, Elephant Hill. We're taking a quick stop here at uh, Newspaper Rock. Got 
check out the old writings. Okay, we're all aired down, ready for Elephant Hill, which starts right here, goes up the cliff. She love it. My sister's uh, friend, Mandy and Cash are here, ready to ride the elephant. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's not that kind. The hill, Elephant Hill. We're gonna go ride Elephant Hill. It's gonna be great. Like a glove. <laughs> so this is uh, where we're gonna have our picnic today. I've camped here a couple of times, and it is the finest, most awesome campsite I have ever known. If you ever get a chance, really seriously, gotta come check this out. Devil's Kitchen. All right, goodbye picnic spot. Time to go out, do some more jeeping. here I'll have to check out the joint not that joint and uh it's kind of hot and rocky not good for my bad knees but it's gonna be worth it you'll see so here we are we've just entered into the joint just coming on in here yep this is pretty cool All right. This is actually a good time to be here because sometimes you don't get this sun. Yeah, I mean, actually, I've never seen right. it with the sun strip coming down it. Oh, right. uh, yeah. So, so this we got is the joint here. Yeah, this is the joint here. We got one seam, two seams, three seams. Ooh, that looks like a butt cheek or, or titties. I can't tell, like in the screen. All right. Yeah, this gets pretty narrow. 
I don't know if I even fit. It's like, whoa! So they can't there. Okay, after cooling off a little bit after our little hike, back on the trail, heading towards the golden stairway or silver stairway or some stairway they have around here. Anyways, cooking on. SOB Hill. great trip it is ending one day early because i broke another control arm word to the wise don't buy cheap control arms and uh anyways it's been a wonderful trip can't wait till next year i really enjoyed my time with friends and family look forward to having my dad next year have a good one